Hi, so we are going to talk a little bit about communicating with your students in Moodle today. Um, so there are a couple different ways that you can communicate with your students in Moodle. Uh, the first one is this news forum. So the news forum is a is a standard part of a Moodle course when it's first created. Now you can edit, you can remove it if you so choose. But let's take a look at the settings that make this uh, an in, a great way to communicate with your students. So it's generally in the first topic, this unmovable, undeletable topic, which is the first topic in any Moodle course that is um, organized by topic. Um, so we have a news forum, and we can go ahead and edit the um, the properties of it. So here is a news forum. You can actually change the name of it if you want to make it something else. But the interesting thing is that it's uh, it's automatically this forced subscription. So with forced subscription, it means that uh, basically everyone is subscribed and cannot be unsubscribed. Okay, so and if they're subscribed and cannot be unsubscribed, then every single student that signs up for your course. Uh, it means they will receive email copies of forum posts. So if your emails are accurate for your users, which they should be, okay. If you use, if you have adult users, if you have uh, K-12 students, they might not have an accurate email. Might not even be allowed to use email. So, uh, so this will only work if you, if your users have accurate emails, are encouraged to keep accurate emails. <clears throat> okay, so that's the first way. So you have forum posts that that, um, and this news forum is the, you know, the first forum. That everybody is um, is forced to subscribe to, including the teacher. That's that's everybody who uses the course, or is is associated with the course. Okay, the second way is to post a course guide. So if um if students are you know if basically if you put instructions here in this first topic to read the course guide or course syllabus, uh, you know that's another great way. So. Uh, and basically what this does for you is if you have a standard um, uh, course guide, so I just open that up, notice that the contact will be in here and generally in the course guide um, you know you'll they'll talk about the structure of the course, how to get a good grade and then finally in the course guide um, you can have something that tells them to email you for the first time so to make that initial contact um, and that's that's another great way so that one document the course syllabus that everybody should read and, and should be used to reading the beginning of course especially if, if you have high school or older kids um, uh, college especially so uh, if you if you include instructions in your syllabus to have them email at the email address you give uh, that creates an initial uh, initial uh, point of contact for you uh, with your students um, then finally we have this onboard messaging system so uh, basically what you can do is uh, you can add this block in, and if you add the block uh, to your course, then students will have it available to them. Uh, if you add the block in and make it visible, uh, and then what you can do is you can actually go in and um, and add people to this. Um, so you can go in and configure the messages, the messaging block. Um, basically, this just tells you where it's where it's located and whatnot. So uh, there isn't a whole lot there to configure. Um, so we have the messaging block uh, and basically you just click on messages and this might be helpful if you went through this with students uh, and then you can actually search um, you can search for people so if they know the name of their instructor um, that would be helpful okay if they put in teacher it's not going to find anything but if they put in the name of their teacher then they would find that um, I would suggest that you have your name and contact information written on the front front uh, page of the um, of the course itself but um, so okay so they uh, basically search for people they add a contact then once they add a contact they can just click on that contact and then it's very easy to message them so here you know I'm writing to myself because I'm the only contact but uh, you can actually send a message then uh, to another user on the system uh, and this would be something that you'd want to put into your course syllabus or otherwise train your students on. You might want to have an initial exercise where they actually send you a message as part of the um, part of the initial assignment. Okay, so those are three great ways. Oops, those are three great ways to uh, to have somebody, or I'm sorry, not somebody, to have your students contact you 
uh, through the Moodle system. So our first way was through forum posts, uh, which basically broadcast out to all students. The second was through messaging, which, uh, which you can send directly to any individual. Uh, and then finally uh, is just standard email, um, which is not part of the Moodle system, but of course is, is invaluable for, uh, for uh, any kind of online communication. Good luck.